reviews are mixed for the supermodels pose in this photo. Some say that it's a lovely vision of motherhood. Others say it promotes an unrealistic image for regular moms. She's the highest paid model in the world and quite possibly the most polarizing. Giselle Bunchen, mother, model, and wife of Tom Brady, had moms buzzing when she posted this photo on Instagram, nursing her young daughter while her team tends to her nails, hair, and makeup. She writes, what would I do without this beauty squad after the 15 hours flying and only three hours of sleep? I think breastfeeding is a very personal thing. It's a very personal choice, and it should be private. And for her to put this on Instagram is a little outrageous and I think obnoxious. Some moms would prefer she kept her opinions to herself. One writing, yes, because all us moms have a team of people like this and can brag about it. Seriously? But another liking the message, saying, looks like the most regular thing in the world. Sweet. Well, I think it is actually a very positive message. She can be a really good role model for a lot of the moms that are, you know, going back to work and um, are struggling in this country to be able to continue to breastfeed. Bunchen again becoming a lightning rod for controversy with comments on breastfeeding. Once saying, I think there should be a worldwide law, in my opinion, that mothers should breastfeed their babies for six months. On eating during pregnancy, I think a lot of people get pregnant and decide they can turn into garbage disposals. I was mindful about what I ate, and I gained only 30 pounds. And on home births, it wasn't painful, not even a little bit. The second day, I was walking, I was washing dishes, I was making pancakes in the kitchen. Yet this time, Bunshin appears to be not just a model, but a role model for all nursing mothers. All right, so we obviously can't relate to Giselle's glamorous life, but still, you have to give her credit because nursing your child is a full-time job. I nurse both of mine after work. It's tough. I'm going to nurse this one. And consider, she's taking her children on the road with her. Yeah. Wouldn't we be talking about something completely different if she just left them at home with the nanny? That's true. Yes. Good point there, Paula. That is a good, good point. point. A lot of, you, you have to be doing it. I'm going to pop here, you guys. <laughs> You're beautiful. Three weeks. Beautiful. <laughs> A lot of comments coming in on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Let's get to some of them. Gina Verse said, how is depicting a day in the life of a breastfeeding mom being a smug mom? Kudos, Giselle, for meeting your little one's needs and working. And then, I don't know how to say this. Well, Joanne Wu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Giselle's definition of multitasking is a little different from other breastfeeding moms I know. Let's talk to Erica Suter about it now. She's the editor of thestir.com. Mm -hmm. So where do you come down? Well, the problem is, is that Giselle has a way of making moms either feel judged or that she's bragging, and neither goes over well. I mean, mm -hmm. no one can really relate to what she's going through, and they're a little jealous, and that's very natural because being a mom is one of the hardest jobs you'll ever have to do, and she makes it look a little too effortless. Yeah. It looks like a lot, there's a lot of effort going on there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this well, is by everyone first, else. Right? I hope, I hope with it. But, but she, but she makes no bones about that. Yeah. This is her job. This, she's got. She says she talks about multitasking, mm -hmm. and, and she's actually thanking mm -hmm. her team for allowing her to be able to nurse her child while she gets ready for her job. Her job just happens to be a little different than most people's job. Right. Yeah. How do we get past this? How do we get past that we always seem to be judging one another yes. and just, just realizing we're all doing the best that we can That's with right. what we have? Well, I think one of the ways you can look at Giselle's picture is mm -hmm. that you know this is a positive image of breastfeeding. You know, where a lot of women face a lot of hurdles when they mm -hmm. go back to work, they can't breastfeed, they have to start working they have to before take the they're pump done. With them. Yeah. They take the pump with them. There's no pumping yeah. room. Mm -hmm. What do you do? So this is actually a positive representation and that's a good thing for all mothers. So if they can just get to that point and get over the fact that they don't have their own glam squad, mm -hmm. we'd be good. Exactly. And we will end on that good point. Josh, I'm so sorry we ran out of time. I know, I know you want to. Hold that button. He was so close. It's great having you. We have a lot more.